Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can get custom themes on your 3DS or 2DS using Animon. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Or Ainmon, however you pronounce it. Uh, Ainmon is pretty cool because you can have the custom theme like the one I have right now that I got. Or you could create your own themes as well as get ones from the official 3DS theme market for free. Uh, for this tutorial, you are going to need custom firmware installed. If you don't have that, I'll link the tutorial I use in the description. And you will need Animon. Um, most of the time, depending on the tutorial you followed, uh, you should get like uh, a few so like small selection of like apps like Animon installed, like pre-installed once you get custom firmware on your 3DS. If not, I am going to uninstall it shortly, and I'm going to show you guys how you can get it. So, and the timestamp shown right now. Uh, that's when you want to go if you already have Animon installed, and if not, uh, just keep watching and I'll show you how you can get it. Alright, so I've uninstalled Animon, and now I'll show you guys how you can get it. So Animon is actually a QR code install from their GitHub page, so you don't need to take your, your SD card just yet. So you just want to go to FBI, which I have right here. Open that. And once you're in, you want to go to the second option from the bottom. Uh, remote install. See here. And then you want to go one down to scan QR code. Now click on that. And it'll activate the camera. You can just put this aside. And now you can go on your computer. Actually, you can do this on a phone or anyone with a, like any browser because it's just a QR code so just get that up alright so once you have your browser of choice opened up I'm using Chrome on my laptop you're gonna wanna go to the link that I have in the description or just search it up like I'm doing right now it's just Animoni 3DS and if you search it up it'll be the top link it's a github page and it says releases astronaut level 2 slash Animoni 3DS or just click the link, like I said, in the description, which is pretty easier. And we're just going to install the Revival Edition. And it has a note that some themes might not work because of an update they have. But it says that most themes will be unaffected. But if you are having troubles, you might want to reinstall a different version. But anyways, like I said before, it's a QR code install. So we're gonna, like I guess I make sure you're on Revival Edition. It's V2.1.0, it's the latest release. There's a new release when you're watching. Uh, you could do that one too, because it might fix a lot of the issues. Just go for the newest release, that usually often works. So like I said before, I wanna scroll down, and here is the QR code. So we're just gonna get our 3DS, and like I said before, you should have this open. For some reason, the 2DS XL has a camera at the bottom. Don't know if you can see that. I'm pretty annoyed by that. But I just want to make sure you can see it. And just look over QR code. It should ask you to install from the QR, like the scan QR code. Just click A. And it should be a very quick install because it's not a big file. Just click A. OK. Press Home. Press X to close it. And if all goes well, there we are. So now you have Animone installed on your 3DS. All right, so now you should have Animone on your 3DS and ready to go. But before you click on it and launch it, there's one thing we need to do. So you want to go to the top left of the home menu to home menu settings. Click A on that. And then the first option, change theme, click A on that. And then you just wanna scroll down to where this is, the basic themes. So like basic red, basic blue, you have to have one of these selected. So I have yellow selected now, I'm just gonna switch to black just cause. And then we're good. So now we can just launch Animon. All right, so now that you're in, just stay put and I'm gonna show you the fastest way to install themes. All right, so what you wanna do is go back to your browser and go to the link I will have in the description it's to themeplaza.eu slash themes. So once you're here, you can see there's tons of different themes you can use. So we're gonna go to the top right where you can filter. 
and we're gonna go to most downloaded and now you can see the most popular ones you scroll down actually yeah here it is so this is the one right here red wave this is the one I was using at the start and this is the one we're gonna try it out with so what you want to do is you want to hover over it and as you can see it'll show you a QR code and this is how we're going to install the actual theme onto it. So there's other op there's other ways you can install themes, including actually like using it on the app. There's like a like a list of ones you can get, but I find it's really slow. And I think this is easily the fastest method and the easiest method. So you want to go back to your 3DS and you want to click R, which is right here oh. and that's how you can download from QR so I'll load the scanner and just like before you want to just scan there we go sorry that took a while but as you can see now it's downloading all right so it's just about done and there we go. So you'll see at the bottom now, we have Red Wave. So you hold A, and then you hold up on the D-pad, and then while you're holding up on the D-pad, you just release A, and it'll install. And now we have it selected. So you want to press Home, close it, and now what you want to do is you actually want to turn your 3DS off, like so. And now, we're just going to turn it back on. And if all goes well. There we are. And that's about it. So if this video helped you out, if you could drop a like, that would be greatly appreciated. And if you're interested in 3DS modding and all sorts of stuff like that, I am going to be uploading a ton more videos on 3DS modding tutorials and all that. Um, that's about it, so I'll see you guys in the next one.